Hey everyone, happy opening day, and today I'm going to show you just a very quick video on how to get StatCast data from each day as it as it happens, So and write it to a database. That way, you don't have to run a very large query to acquire StatCast data, you can just pull it after each day. So, obviously to get started, we'll load these four packages, Baseball R, DBI, R, SQLite, and Liberdate, and if you need to install them, just remove these um, hashtags or comments, and just say install packages, or in uh, Bill Petty's case, with the baseball R, DevTools install GitHub. So, what essentially I'm going to do, I'm not going to run any actual code here, but I just a basic showing you of this code skeleton, and it's really simple, and you can get it after the morning after each game. So, for obviously today, if you want to run this Friday morning, that's great. Also, Bill Petty, thanks to him again, he did a article slash blog post a while ago on how to automatically run R scripts using Windows Task Scheduler. So if you have a Windows PC, you are you can do that without actually having to run the code, and I will leave that in the description below. But essentially what you'll do is you'll connect your SQLite database, and that's what we're using for our database. I just called it StatCast DB, StatCast database, call it whatever you want, just make sure it's .sqlite. And then I wrote a very, very short function, and it's just essentially StatCast write function. I don't have to input anything. Day, and from the Lubridate package, I'll use the today function, which is today's date. Minus one though, because again, the StatCast player data updates after the morning um, after the game, so I think, don't quote me on this, but I think around like 3 a.m. So after these games uh, tonight, that's when the data will be available. So I would just recommend you do it the next day. So obviously since today's July 23rd, run this on July 24th and you'll get the July 23rd data. And then again, from the baseball R package, scrape StatCast Savant. Start day equals the day that we assign, end date equals the day that we assign. So you're just grabbing from a certain day. And then data DB write table, which is writing to your database, your connections, your DB. StatCast hitting is the table that you want because this is automatically assuming hitting data. And I mean, you can do another one. You can add another line and add another two lines of code if you want pitching also in a separate um, table. And then the file that you assigned. So in this case, I just said dat. And then overwrite is false because you want to keep that data. Row names equals false, and then append equals true, which means that you're just adding that data to your database once the season gets along. And then so you have that function. So you, you'll just run all this, and then at the end, you'll run StatCast, right? And you'll have all your data there. So I hope, uh, I hope people that are interested in acquiring StatCast data and playing around with it are able to do this in a very quick and easy manner. And so I wanted to help with that that way. You don't have to worry about pulling an entire year, waiting for the year to end, or going on Baseball Savant and just continuously pulling. That way, how this is done, it's a lit, little bit quicker and easier for you to use. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Have a great opening day, and have a great rest of your day. Hopefully, you can get to play with some of this data.